In this video, we'll talk about cortisol, aka the stress hormone. Cortisol is secreted by the adrenal glands present on the kidneys, and this is a steroid hormone. Cortisol helps our body to fight stress. That's why it is also known as a stress hormone. Let's talk about the functions. Cortisol is relevant and important for body's response towards stress. Other than that, it regulates metabolism. It suppresses inflammation and regulates blood sugar level. These are the major functions of cortisol. Let's talk about the biosynthesis of cortisol. It's a steroid hormone, so it would be synthesized from cholesterol. Now, it's not that straightforward. Cholesterol gets converted to intermediates like pregnenolone. Eventually, it gets converted to 7-hydroxyprogesterone. And then, ultimately, in sequential step, it gets converted to cortisol. So, overall, it's a cholesterol derivative. Now, if we look at the adrenal cortex, there are three different layers. Zona glomerulosa, granulosa, zona fasciculata, and zona reticularis. So, the outer layer secretes min mineralocorticoid, the inner layer secretes um, the androgens and the middle layer, the zona fasciculata, secretes glucocorticoids like cortisol. So the secretion of cortisol follows a diurnal pattern. That means it has higher secretion during the days and lower secretion during the night. Cortisol secretion is regulated by a hormonal axis. So first, the corticotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus instruct the pituitary to secrete ACTH. ACTH acts on the adrenal gland to secrete the cortisol. When cortisol levels are abruptly high in the blood, there would be a negative feedback which would act on pituitary for short term and for a longer term it would act on the hypothalamus to reduce the level of CRH and ACTH. This is how a nice secretion loop is maintained. Let's talk about the biological actions of cortisol in bit more details. Cortisol can act on various tissues. Majorly, it works on liver, adipose tissues, and muscle. In the liver, cortisol ensures that glycogen lysis takes place. So, glucose level would be increasing in the action of cortisol. It also prevents the formation of glycogen from glucose. Now, in adipose tissue, cortisol ensures that fatty acids are freed up from the fat and these can be utilized to generate energy. And in muscles, it breaks down proteins to form peptides. In short form, it activates catabolic responses and suppresses anabolism. And think about this in this way. When your body is undergoing stress, it needs energy. So it needs all building block that can produce energy. Cortisol ensures body has uh, enough amount of energy when it needs. Now cortisol level uh, in the blood rises during stress and when we are under stress, cortisol ensures that other organs like liver, muscle does not take up glucose. And this would result in an increase in blood glucose level which can be channeled towards our brain and our brain should be active in this kind of crisis moment. In the liver, it also ensures glycogen can be broken down and glucose can be increased in the blood. Also, amino acids can be converted to glucose via new glucogenesis. So, moral of the story, cortisol increases the blood glucose concentration. So, simply to put it, cortisol antagonizes the work of insulin. Another major work of cortisol is to suppress the immune system. And it kind of... Uh, regulate the balance between inflammation and risk of infection because it decreases the risk of inflammation but also increases the risk of infection by other organism. So it's a potent immunosuppressant. Now cortisol is useful after a graft, uh, grafting uh, surgery. So let's say this is a tissue graft and this tissue graft can be rejected by the host and that is why your immune system need to be suppressed. Generally, the doctors prescribe cortisol injections, which prevents or suppress the immune system to reject this kind of graft. 
So cortisol actually inhibits the inflammatory mediators and several inflammatory cytokines such as like interferon gamma, alpha, TNF alpha, uh, etc. And it also promotes the uh, formation of interleukin 10 which is an anti-inflammatory cytokine. So moral of the story, cortisol is an immunosuppressant and it reduces inflammation by producing anti-inflammatory cytokines. When it comes to bone formation, cortisol impedes the bone formation by increasing the osteoclast activity and it prevents the osteoblast activity. So let's talk about the molecular mechanism of cortisol action. Cortisol is a steroid derivative, so it can easily pass through the membrane and it can bind to intracellular receptors. The receptors for cortisol are present in the cytoplasm, but when the ligand is not bound, it was bound to a heat shock protein, which gets removed when the cortisol binds to it. Eventually, it moves to the nucleus dimerize and it can activate several genes responsible for glucose metabolism, protein catabolism and fat metabolism. Now, when there is a very high level of cortisol in blood, it's not really good because there are several uh, conditions such as the Cushing syndrome where you have abnormally high level of cortisol. It can cause problem. Other reasons of high cortisol in blood might be due to adrenal gland tumors, which is overproducing uh, cortisol. Also, when you take corticosteroids, that might lead to an increase in the blood cortisol levels. So as per summary, we looked at the important functions of cortisol and how it regulates physiology. As a take home message, I should say cortisol is a potent immunosuppressant and it has a widespread effect on metabolism. Overall, it promotes catabolism, breaking down of glucose, breaking down of protein and breaking down of fat. And it ensures our body has the source of energy when it needs the most under stress situation, right? And also it works as an uh, with a intracellular receptor so it can lead to several gene expression changes you can get more notes and flashcards in my facebook page you can also follow us on instagram links are in the description you can uh, support our channel by super thanks you can pay via paytm paypal upi see you in next video